Thank you very much. Can you tell us how important is uh, this meeting for Arab bloggers <laughs> to ATI? Yeah. For ATI, I think it is very important to be here for this meeting because, you know, the ATI after the revolution have made a commitment regarding all uh, the internet users, especially bloggers, because the bloggers are very important for the, uh, were very important during uh, the revolution and after the revolution because they are uh, tr always trying to push for freedom of expression and the privacy of internet. And I think ATI in that uh, sense is uh, also uh, aware about all those issues and, uh, uh, and also uh, aware about the debate and the, how important is the debate about the internet. So that's why we are here and we are proud to be here and to discuss with all those e-community users. Thank you very much. Um, second question, how has censorship affected internet in Tunisia? Why is it still an issue today? I, censorship is something that happened uh, during the revolution, during the regime, Binali, and you know that this was in the sense to control the internet because ITI was a, monos, uh, was a central uh, authority that controls all the traffic of internet and uh, control it. I control it best. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I now ITI is also determined in this in this field to to um, uh, to promote openness of internet and the neutrality of internet. We are not involved in content and uh, ITI equipments have to be neutral and transparent regarding on any content in the internet whether it's about politics or whether about about anything in the internet. We we know that there is a lot of bad contents that are uh, harmful for our children and we know that there are uh, uh, other concepts that could be also harmful for our security and national security so that's why ITI is, is aware of those but as uh, an internet exchange point it has to be neutral and transparent. Okay, last question. Um, about pornographic websites, how involved do you think uh, ITI is on, in trying to solve this issue or trying at least to circumvent the problem? Yeah. For us, the solution is uh, a co um, um, how to say a control palette and softwares and platforms. We could build a, sir, a, a platform for our families. Uh, however, we cannot offer them because, as an, as an internet exchange point, we cannot have a service directly to the customer. Customer has to contact his internet service provider, and ITI, as an internet exchange point, could help and could support the internet service providers to offer uh, controlled uh, parental control software or uh, to uh, to the families, to the Tunisian families, because we know that a lot of families, including mine, also mm -hmm. don't agree with those contents, and we want I don't want to my, my, my children to see those contents. So our our goal is also to provide softwares and uh, to provide uh, for these families, but. How to provide them? I think ITI and ISPs have to work together for that. Thank you so much, Mr. Shakshuk, for devoting your time for us. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you very much.